We are here tonight to share our poetry. So how a haiku slam works? I got two flags up here. First of all, let me just let y'all know, y'all ain't gotta be quiet. I know if any of y'all ever been to a poetry reading, it's like somebody comes up and says, I'm gonna read this poem about the summer that I spent in Costa Rica working on an organic berry. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't what this is. Y'all can get loud, get raucous, in fact, if anybody wants, I got two vuvuzelas up here. If anybody want a vuvuzela to blow anywhere along the way, I'm just going to set it here. No judgment. Y'all can leave it. Y'all can take it. I got two of them. Y'all make noise. We got rainbow flag. We got pirate flag. I got little ones in my hand. I got three judges that have the same flags. Two people are going to come up. Rainbow is going to go first, read a haiku. Pirate goes second. Judges are going to throw a flag up for whichever one they pick. Two out of three judges decides who wins the round. So judges, I got two new judges tonight. I'm going to explain this to you. You can judge it on poetic merit. You can judge it on how it made you feel. You can judge it on just how it sounded rhythmically. And if you don't know how to judge it, just judge it on whatever feels right because there ain't no wrong way to judge it. Two out of three flags wins it. So that means the only mistake you can make as a judge is waiting too long and both of the other judges throw up opposite flags. And then the whole room is going to turn to you and wait to see what you raise. So just don't think about it too long, all right? Whoever loses the round goes first the next round. We do that until people are eliminated little by little. We get down to a final two that have the championship. I am happy to say I have a sponsor. Do we have any more chairs? you need a chair? There's one chair right here that's empty. And I will tell you, my name is Raven. I told everybody else, if you come in here and you're like, what is this fool babbling about? And you got to leave, you're not going to hurt my feelings, all right? Just so you know. Ain't nobody going to obligate everybody to stay till the bitter end. <laughs> I have a sponsor from Greenbrier Cafe and Coffee House, which is up on West Main by VCU. They're actually right by a coffee shop that I worked at for a number of years before I got laid off because of this sleazy little asshole that worked there and was so so embezzling stuff. I still punch that dude one day. <laughs> Greenbrier Cafe and Coffee House are our sponsors. That means whoever wins this haiku slam tonight, I got $40 for them. 40 cash dollars. I go out in these streets getting sponsors telling them, look, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people come to my haiku slams kind of broke, kind of tight, but you know what? They're good people, and you are supporting the environment. And they say, all right, I'm good with that. We can do that, Raven Matt. So I got $40 for the winner of the haiku slam. We will do a battle royal where you might not need but three or four haiku. $20 to whoever wins that. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the back get this list. If anybody else needs to sign up, y'all tell me now. Anybody else looking to sign up? And if you're not, that's fine. You can watch and hang out. Y'all feeling all right? <laughs> Sorry, never mind. What is that all about? Google lost my Oh, man. Robot oh. devices have failed us again. Google. Mix them up. <laughs> all right, so I've got six people on this list. Y'all talk amongst yourselves while I turn around and devise an order. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's here just because of the zine fest? Will you guys raise your hands? Yay for you! Yeah. <laughs> so who is here for zine fest? Thank you for coming. I love zine fest and I've been an avid zine doer for like most of my life. And I will be tabling tomorrow. And I have three children, 20, 15, and 11. And I am proud to say tomorrow, tabling, I'm going to have zines with my 20-year-old there and the first zine my 15-year-old ever made. Yes. So I am super excited. Nice. All right. We're going to start with a best of three to start this thing. I'm going to call up on the rainbow side. Now, this person, I do a haiku death match too or a haiku power exchange, or haiku life match, whatever you want to call it. And that's best of 19, first person to win 10 rounds. I do that because I can't stand up here and act like I know something about haiku holding this space if I'm taking somebody on. And I will be honest with you, I do this every other month in Charlottesville, and I have not won a single comp death match in Charlottesville all year long. I've lost every one. 
but I am here and I am going to take on this person in the death match. But they are also competing in the main slam and the battle royal to be the second person ever in the history of me doing this since 1947 <laughs> to compete in all three events in one night. So I'm calling up on the rainbow side, Trisha. Uh -oh. And because I love to be a horrible person, I'm calling up on the pirate side, her husband, Jason. Oh. Before I get started, I would just like to say one thing. We just talked about the fact Zine Fest is going on tomorrow and today. And I am going to be tabling with two of my three children having zines as well. And I just want to say a big, fat, purple heart, red heart, orange heart, up in the air moment of appreciation for this person sitting right up front named Selena. Y'all have no idea all the work Selena puts into this, not just this week, not just this summer, for 10 years, Selena. And I am so thankful that Selena does what they do. So thank you, Selena. All right, best of three. First round, Trisha gets to go first. Judges, please hold your flags up high. I'm an old man, I can't see. Hmm. Every time, every time, I hear vegetable lasagna. It's Elaine's voice. <laughs> Jason. The next one who says, we work hard, but we play hard, is getting throat punched. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Throat punch took it up one another. Trisha. Trisha, you get to go first. Heritage, not hate. Just exploitation, guys. Crops got to get picked. Ooh. Cop, Cop has a smug look. Spits dip on my parking lot. Blue lives don't matter. Judges. <laughs> All right, Jason That's took it. Two to nothing. That's Ooh. it. Y'all give it up for Trisha, who will be back. Yeah, you can sit down. I'll call you back up in a minute. Of the late arrivals, was anybody coming to compete or just to watch? Just to watch. That's fine. You found them? You in the mix? All right. Fran is back in the mix. All the way from North Carolina. All right. Next up. Best of three still. Calling up on the rainbow side. Dr. Paul Robinson. I was blessed enough today to spend the day with Paul. I got to speak to his class at VCU. I got to speak to a class of his at Virginia State. Both of them were very exciting experiences. And um, I don't know, it's just cool seeing, it's cool seeing young adults doing what they do. <laughs> All right, number four, on the pirate side, my final event of 2019 will be in Charlottesville the Saturday before Thanksgiving. And we are going to have a tournament of haiku death matches. And I've been announcing one competitor a week. Me, a man named Hawk Talon J. Crowfighter from Charlottesville, actually lives in Ashland, was the second competitor. And this week I announced this person as the third competitor. Give it up for Mo Carnage. <laughs> Paul gets to go first. Prestige TV shows, using my block for window to pass. Go away. <laughs> Mo. How much glitter is too much? Lines on a mirror, straw at the ready. <laughs> Judges. All right, Mo's up one to nothing. The pirate side has not lost yet tonight. Paul, you get to go first. Using the crosswalk, neon thoughts. Hit me, asshole. <laughs> <take a pee. laughs> No. What do you value? Words trumped by actions put up or shut the fuck up! <laughs> Judges! Paul took that one one to one. 
So whoever wins this one moves on. Whoever loses gets to relax. Mo, you get to go first. Can you deal with the full bush experience or will you run? It's too scared. <laughs> As I understand, shoot your shot. All young ladies should carry sharp blades. Judges. And Mo took it. Although Paul got a large ooh. <laughs> <laughs> people as my cousin. And the reason I introduce them as my cousin is because it's a familial term. We use it in a good context here. I have some cousins that I want to kill, literally, because <laughs> my family was toxic. But this family is not toxic. And we say cousin because brother or sister might misgender somebody. And we want to use a gender neutral term makes everybody feel good. So everybody here is cousins. We all cousins now. What up, y'all? <laughs> all right. Coming up on the rainbow side. Let's give it up for Angie. And on the pirate side, Dolly. So I can't say my cousin Dolly because this is also my partner right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little awkward. You know? I did grow up in the rural south, so I had to find some stereotypes. You know? All right, Angie, you get to go first. Ghosts are bad at lies because you can always see right through them. <laughs> People rather die from awful Febreze fumes than smell something awful. Judges? All right, Angie's up one to nothing. Dolly, you get to go first. But wait a second, hold on, let me look at my list. This is going to be best of five because we're down to four people. What? Yeah. Do I care about losing weight for the coming apocalypse? Nah. <laughs> the skeleton did not go to the dance because he had no body. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dolly took that one. One to one. Angie, you get to go first. <clears throat> the vampire went by the store to get some mouthwash because of that breath. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Insurance. We think we need it, yet they're not paying for shit. Judges. All right, Dolly's up two to one. Angie, you get to go first. First one to win three. The young witch loves school because she would learn how to practice her spelling. Cleaning up a state of my mother, the scoff law, everyday heartbreak. Judges. <laughs> two to two. Ooh. So whoever wins this one moves on. Dolly, you get to go first. <laughs> Does this world need more crafts, more dishes, more books? My house says no. Mm -hmm. Angie? Ghosts in the garden shop picking up their favorite plant species. Bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angie took it with the Halloween We do a best of five. It's on the fly. I'm chaotic. It all falls apart. But it comes back together. <laughs> Calling up on the rainbow side. Wasn't on the list. Back on the list. Google came through. <laughs> all the way up from North Kakalaka. Y'all give it up for Fran. <laughs> and coming back up. All the way from over there in the second row. Y'all give it up for Jason. <laughs> As you see, the field narrows down. <laughs> Best of five, Fran gets to go first. 
Home is where I keep my two pound bag of Sour Patch watermelons. <laughs> what if I told you the highest form of humor is a good dad joke? <laughs> Judges? And that's one for Fran. Fran's up one nothing. Jason, you get to go first. Six cops for one guy, because they want to get home safe. Police state demo. Ugh. Fran? Examining my wounds as a public display of security. Judges? Jason took that one. One to one. Fran, you get to go first. My love language is announcing my boundaries loudly with no shame. <clears throat> Jason? All I do is work. If I'm really lucky, I get three days off. Mm -hmm. Judges? Fran took that one. Two to one, Fran's up. You ain't got to be sick for them three days, do you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Jason gets to go first. Down two to one. Oh, see. This could be it for him. Yeah. Until the battle <laughs> Could be. Later. Funny potato, why you look like an old man? <laughs> Do it again. Why you look like an old man or maybe a toe? <laughs> Fran? <laughs> Strange and happy to be filled with all the things I tried hard to escape. Judges. All right, two to two. Whoever wins this one is going to go to the final and compete for fifty dollars in cash prizes. Jason, you get to go first. Weird, <clears throat> weird food lion guy strolling by the shop today. Why do you walk like that? <laughs> when I say I'm this Richmond. I mean, Asheville has, like, no house shows, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Fran took it, y'all. Yeah. All right, before I call up these next two people for the other semifinal, I just want to do something. I do this occasionally. It's called a nature boy check. There's two sides to this thing. The high side of this, it feels good. It's a nice Friday night. You're feeling fresh. It feels nice, and you just like, woo, like Nature Boy Ric Flair. <laughs> the other side of it, it's Friday night. You already broke. You ain't got no damn money. Your job sucks. Feel like the world's stepping on your neck halfway. Take a deep breath down into your intestines where you feel that, swish that breath around, and you're going to woo as well. So you're going to woo on three. We're going to do a nature boy chat. One, two, three. Woo! Yeah, see, it help you feel better. All right. Rainbow side, give it up for Paul. Pirate side, give it up for Angie. Going on. <laughs> That's the five. Paul, you get to go first. <clears throat> That's five, six syllables. <laughs> Trauma memories emerge, waiting for bagel, hygienist gossip. Angie. When a tree gets scared on Halloween, it means it's petrified with fright. <laughs> <laughs> Angie took it one to nothing. <laughs> Paul, you get to go first. Eating them purple mushrooms turns the blizzard green, in case you wondered. <laughs> Angie. On Halloween, my eye, doc my eye doctor gives out candy corneas for treats. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Paul took that one, one to one. Angie, you get to go first. I'd be worried about that doctor. <laughs> While getting ready, the mummies like to listen to their rap music. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Leaning into dreams, even when they require eyes perpetually woke. Judges. And she's up two to one. Paul, you get to go first. Obviously got some rap fans. <laughs> All right. Um, almost stepped in ditch, coyote carcass, roadside, asphalt festering. Angie. Read the epitaph on the tombstone in my yard. Is your name spelled right? <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Angie took it three to one. <laughs> So that means it's going to be Fran versus Angie in our final. Best of, you got nine left? Yes. And you got nine? Seven? Seven. Okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all will be doing the final in a few minutes. Before we do that, we will do the death match. Death match is the best of 19. This person had never been to one of these haiku slams for a couple months ago, and they knocked the socks off of all of us. They are an interesting and hilarious individual. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Trisha. Trisha! <laughs> Who you want, Rainbow or Pirate? You get to pick. Rainbow. All right. And I'm going to be on the Pirate side. Give it up on the Pirate side, y'all's cousin, Raven Matt. Oh. <laughs> up, Can somebody other than a judge keep score for me? Because I get in the heat of battle trying to win 10 you. rounds. Oh, you got it? All right. I lose track, lose control, you know, start seeing purple. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first. Hmm. Nefarious plot should be a candidate name. Vote for honesty. <laughs> the road I've traveled hasn't felt smooth in retrospect, but at least it's paved. <laughs> All right, I'm up one to nothing, Trisha. Gotta make a move to a town that's right for me. Won't you take me down? <laughs> Real tree camouflage knockoff from Dollar General plus phone card refill. <laughs> All right, two to nothing, I'm up. All right, is that me? Yep. Hmm. The technology to be kind to other folks already exists. Yes. Almost a letdown to orgasm in old age. Store that energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angie took that one. I'm up two to one, but I lost that round. Uh, Trisha, I'm sorry, Trisha. I'm down. I'm up two to one, but I lost that round. I get to go first. Good bone broth jiggles like ass flesh as it's ladled into freezer bags. <laughs> Wait, I got one for that. <laughs> <laughs> Patsy, you noodle, you are like a flap of skin. Too pepper spicy. <laughs> Judges. All right, I took that one. I'm up three to one. You get to go first. Botsmaru wants me to write a haiku about how he'll kill you all. <laughs> Quartz crystal necklace tucked in behind blackberry bush beard. Beaming. Judges. And Trisha took that one. Three to two, I'm up. I lost that round. Loser goes first. The genetics of depression inherited traumas. It's a lot. The technology to build your own robot bear already exists. <laughs> Trisha took that one. It's three to three. Now we're going to ten, so you'll see the bob and weave happening. I get to go first, tied up three to three. Ain't no God but God, Southern and Shalai, jihad upon airs put on. Fishing up some boots in a virtual lagoon. Productivity. <laughs> All right, four to three, you are up. Fry, 
Did I oh, get to go you. first. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Fried egg and halal bologna sandwich with slice of bright yellow cheese. All right. I wrote this for Twyla. In, I, I got woken up in the middle of the night because a dog licked my foot. Mm-hmm. And this haiku was on my head. It's for Twyla. Gaming leg Legos. Grab your twat and do a squat. Just don't scream out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Trisha took that one. Up five to three. I get to go first. The gentrified dirt of boutique organic farms most folks can't afford. Butane cookie dough, shopping list vertigo go, chips, Advil, Pepto. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, six to three, Trisha is up. I get to go first again, getting my ass kicked. (laughs) So I do these. And I always like to share the stage with somebody who excels at what they do. I took my worst loss ever. I did one of these Wednesday night in Charlottesville. I won the first two rounds, and then I lost ten straight rounds. I got beat ten to two by a wonderful young artist named Harley Saxon out of Charlottesville. Y'all Google that person. She does music, but she is an amazing writer. She kicked my damn ass, y'all. So you might kick my ass, but it ain't gonna be ten to two. Although what is it, six to three? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> Colander full of leftover chicken bones for my girlfriend's hound dog. Kind of annoying. Folk fest that is. <laughs> I don't said it now. <laughs> Judges. All right, took that one too. Seven to three, I'm down. Gallon pickle jar full of homemade kimchi. Skim the mold off the top. (laughs) The technology (laughs) to bitch slap some Nazi fuck (laughs) already in the that one, although we all win when you punch a Nazi. All right, eight to three. I am losing. SpongeBob SquarePants socks worn to work as weak act of performative quirk. (laughs) Hmm. Squirrels live longer when they stay out of the damn road. Spread the word, squirrels. So I took that one, eight to four. You get to go first, but you're kicking my ass eight to four. Mm. Spot fix that blemish. Throw a filter on that mug. We can't look human. (laughs) Paying credit cards minimum payment, then use that to pay light bill. (laughs) All right, I won that one, eight to five. As y'all can see, I got a degree in economics. (laughs) Get to go first. I'm lame and stubborn. What about you, bird? What's your reason not to fly? Life sat on my face, refused <laughs> to get up as I choked. Died with hard dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's eight to six. You get to go first. Oh. My name's Spiffy King. When the internet was new, I was born from Murph. <laughs> Unreal solitude just before the sun rises, birds, moon, and myself. Okay, I took that one, eight to seven. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go to length here. Uh-huh. <coughs> Cats will not like you if you want them to like you. They don't need your lights. <laughs> Expanding my lungs with stale basement apartment air. Exhale, then sleep. <coughs> All 
right? You took that one. It's nine to seven. She wins one more round. I'm out. I got to win three in a row. <coughs> Let me see what I can get here. Robotic TikTok voices coming from next room driving me insane. <coughs> Hang on, I lost it. Awful family? All the better for haunting. Springer show for ghosts. <laughs> <coughs> Judges? Hey, you took it! at the Green Bar Cafe and Coffee House. $40, Patricia. we kicking the ass with haiku. Thank you, Patricia. All right, best of seven finale. I'm going to call up Rainbow Side Fran, Pirate Side Angie. I made a clerical error. I was supposed to give Trisha thirty dollars instead of forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Too late. Five <laughs> keepers. I'm gonna have to switch that up before we go because I get a hundred dollars from the sponsors and I'll keep none of it. So just so y'all know. Best of seven. Fran, you get to go first. Alright. Slowly getting buff. Spending lots of time at the gym. <laughs> My crush works there. <laughs> Angie. Skeletons don't have the stomach for Halloween candy, so I've heard. <laughs> Fran's up one to nothing. First one to win four. Angie, get to go first. Why stick to the road? Famous last words from the first dummy to get killed. <laughs> Fran. All kids at my college know is clove cigarettes and break their ankles. <laughs> Judges. Fran's up two to nothing. Angie, you get to go first. Ghosts enjoy riding on elevators because it raises their spirits. <laughs> Fran? Uh, my mom asked me if my tattoo was temporary. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fran's up three to nothing. That is the best of seven. Now, I noticed, Angie, you were a little lower on your delivery right there, so I just want to do a nature boy check so we can get everybody hot. <laughs> nature boy check. One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Right, Angie, get to go first. Vampires don't have friends because they're always such a pain in the neck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a boo-boo's <laughs> Fran? Dirty fingernails, fuzzy brains, and tired smiles. Tonight we breathe fire. Judges? Fran took it, y'all. Oh, Fran no. No, 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 no. We give you a 10 for one of those ones. They're so terrible. So. For coming in second place and at first dazzling us with some wonderful Halloween puns and then annoying us by continuing. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. My cousin Thank Angie you. gets ten dollars for being runner. Up. Forty dollars for Fran. Greenbrier Cafe and Coffee House is up by VCU twelve hundred something Main Street. Y'all support them. I went and met them today. They were really kind people. They were excited to support an event like this, which is always exciting to me because when I try to explain it to people, they're like, so hold up, what? What do y'all do? Like, how does it work? And I'm like, you really got to see it. And they're like, well, I don't know. That sounds weird. <laughs> y'all support them because they supported us. All right, I got $20 left for the battle roll. Anybody that has any haiku left that wants to come up and compete for this battle roll, you might not need but three or four haiku at the maximum. At the maximum. Somebody won this $20 last month in Charlottesville with two haiku. 
That's like more than a dollar a syllable. <laughs> Who we got? Mo, Jason, Dolly, Trisha, back up in it. That's really what you want. Paul, anybody else? Anybody got one in the head? Anybody want to go off the dome? Freestyle one. You not going to do more puns? You want more Halloween? Yes! yes. yes. Rainbow side, Mo. Pirate side, Trisha. One and done on these, y'all. Battle Royal. Everybody's in the ring like an actual wrestling battle royal. Everybody's up on the ring. You lose. You gone. We do it till one person's left. Mo, you first. I think I am so fucking cute. If you don't, that's your problem, honey. <laughs> Trisha. A beeping machine has followed me to my house with all the beeping. Judges, Mo took it. Y'all give it up for my cousin Trisha. <laughs> Rainbow side, Jason. Pirate side, Fran. Jason, you get to go first. Had a gay wet dream. Not sure what that's about, but a nut's a nut. <laughs> Fran? You got some haiku? Come on up. You can be a winner in the A shared history comes with a shared pain. Do you want to talk about it? Judges. Jason took it. Y'all give it up for my cousin. <laughs> Rainbow side, Dolly. Pirate side, Paul. Paul, you get to go first. Shave head or deranged clown the side tufts, outgrowth hairs, performing daily. Finally time for evening fire, sitting quiet, cutting out pictures. Judges. Dolly took it. Y'all give it up for my man Paul. <laughs> Rainbow side Angie and pirate side Came in at the last minute. Don't even know we have a sponsor. Somebody's going to win $20 by winning this haiku battle roll. And I love the fact they got a little notebook full of haiku. Would you please tell me your name? <coughs> DOC. Dot. DOC. Yeah. Angie and Doc. 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 All yeah. right. My bad. My Sorry. bad. So, Doc wasn't here when we did the Nature Boy check. We're going to show them what kind of environment this is. Nature Boy Check is when we feel good, we do a big fat woo. If we don't feel good, we suck it down in our belly. We get all that nastiness and we give it a big fat woo anyways, like Nature Boy Ric Flair. One, Nature Boy Check. One, two, three. Woo! Doc? Influenza shot, month old, against that virus, but not a cold. Herbs. Judges. All right, Doc took it. <laughs> Rainbow side, Mo. Pirate side, Jason. Mo, you get to go first. <clears throat> Identify your demons and then fight them to the death till you're dead. Renting is stupid, they told me, like signing away my life is not. Judges? <laughs> All right, Jason took that one. Y'all give it up for Mo. <laughs> Rainbow side Dolly, pirate side Doc. And I just got to point out, the universal synchronicity of a late entrance walking in the door right before the battle roll gets started. <laughs> Notice Doc and drop the influenza herb. <laughs> <laughs> That's just some good style, y'all. All right, Dolly, you get to go first. Contemplating the ethics of TP theft from greedy boss man. 
That was that was dope. Yeah. Flounders aren't failures, just ruled out parts of a plight we'll solve together. Judges. And Doc took that one. <laughs> Alright. Rainbow side Jason. Tiger side Doc. One haiku. And this one. <laughs> so we got got a nice little contrast here. Doc showed up mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the final of the battle roll. Jason standing up here, got holes in his socks. <laughs> 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 That's what this is about, though, y'all. Seriously, when I talk all that nonsense about Southern Gothic futurism, we call each other cousins, it's about community. That's what it's about. That's what I love. My family I was born to is toxic as fuck, so they don't got no support for me, and I can't go down there. I make my own family now, and I love all y'all. All right, Jason, you get to go first. My favorite shirt, Klansman hung by his neck. Hang in there, baby. My dude. Doc? All right, hold on. I had one. Of, um, since she talked about the holiday thing, I had one that... Um, some things just take time. It took me two bad marriages to make good gravy. <laughs> Judges. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna not have that ooh. Right? <laughs> y'all give it up for Doc. $20 for winning the battle royal. And like I said, three haiku and won $20. That's almost a dollar a line. <laughs> y'all give it up for Doc. Was over. Do you have any haiku you are particularly hyped about sharing tonight that you oh, would like to read? Yeah, I mean, if you're all cool with it. Yeah. Because you know they're so short, so I have like a, a few of them. Um, long absences make the heart complacent. It must be re energized. Mm -hmm. The dream started well, vibed, talk shop, and then he mutilated my guitar. <laughs> That was like a legit nightmare I had. <laughs> Here's last night's number. Did I win? Who the hell knows? Misplaced my ticket. <laughs> I was, you know, about the lottery. <laughs> Mantras I thrive on. Quote, pain, misery, discipline. End quote. Quote, fuck it, keep moving. <laughs> yes, indeed. I see. Why don't you give me one more knockout? Okay. Learn with a sense of urgency to sow seeds with a sense of purpose. Learn with a sense of urgency to sow seeds with a sense of purpose. Learn with a sense of urgency to sow seeds with a sense of purpose. Not only did you close the night out with a haiku, you closed the night out with my meditation for the next three days. <laughs> <laughs> You can find me on assorted social medias by that name, Raven Mac the Dirt God. I'm on Facebook, although I'm killing that after my final event this year. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. If you walk near the railroad tracks that run by the James River, they actually go all the way up by where I live now. You can whisper my name there. And sometimes you'll even see Dirt God go by on the train. Seriously, look for it. You'll see it. Like, I'm not joking. You can go out down by the river. You can yell at the crows, Dirt God! They come tell me. Y'all connect with me online. My last event is in Charlottesville, the Saturday night before Thanksgiving. It is going to be a haiku deathmatch tournament that we have. I'm very excited about it. It's at a cool place called the Tea Bazaar. I will set something up in Richmond again in the spring, but after that one in Charlottesville, I shut it down for the winter, y'all, because you know what? I'm curling my bearded ass up by the wood stove for a couple months. <laughs> I will see y'all tomorrow at Zine Fest. For those of you who competed, I have zines back there. Help yourself if you competed. Please give me a donation if you did not. You can also see me tabling tomorrow with two of my three children. Well, only one of them will be there. But I'll be there tomorrow at Zine Fest, and I hope to see y'all at Zine Fest who came for Zine Fest. Those who didn't come for Zine Fest, 
Y'all should look up Zine Fest. Go to Zine Fest tomorrow. Zine Fest is awesome, y'all. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Oh, wait a second. One more thing. Because somebody came in late, I just want to say again, thank you, Selena, for all you do. All right. Hopefully I see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>